walking Bentley today. It is Wednesday, October 16th, and so I'm taking him for a walk. Lacey's on the porch. It's chilly, but she seems to like to go out there in the morning. I think she likes hanging out with the cat. <laughs> so I'm going to walk Bentley. Um, I think he's put on a little weight since we got the puppy. I give her treats to um, help train her, and Bentley wants to get in on it, so... <laughs> He needs some more walks. Uh, today I am doing laundry, packing for a Myrtle Beach trip, and I'm going to be making my chicken mushroom soup for church tonight. So hopefully that will go well. I'm trying to decide if I want to reduce the amount I'm making by a little bit, because it does make a lot. And um, I think it'll be easier to transport if I make a little bit less. Like, well, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe I do the whole thing but take however much will fit in the um, instant pot. Um, we have plenty of places to plug stuff in, so we a lot of people bring stuff in, instant pots and other things that can, cart pots and stuff, that they can plug in and keep it warm. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, sorry, camera's a little jiggly. I'm just walking. Oh, stepped on a twig. Uh, it's chilly this morning. I mean, it's not cold, but it's in the 40s, like upper 40s. So I am wearing, I don't know if you can tell, it's the Flax Light, which I made from an Advent set two Christmases ago. Well, 2022. The only difference is the Flax Light calls for a garter ridge down the sleeve, and I did not do that. But yeah, the, I have plenty of yarn. I did the, the neckband cuffs and the hem, I think. Let's check, yeah, in the full skein. But honestly, I could have done the whole thing in the minis. There, were, there was enough. Um, I'm also wearing, let's get that in there, fingerless mitts. These are the, I think they're called lambing mitts. And they, they have a little flap that can fold to cover, fold back to uncover my fingers or um, unfold for a little bit more warmth. So that's feeling pretty good on my hands this morning. Mm, I think that's about it for this morning. Did I say Lacey's on the porch? She loves going out on the porch in the morning. So I'll go back and get her and walk her shortly and probably switch over a load of laundry. All right, talk with you later. Evening. It is 10-ish on Wednesday night, October, whatever this is, 16th maybe. We had um, church tonight. 
and we got back a little while ago but I still needed to put away the rest of the soup and see about Lacey and I got a new cushion for the porch swing and I wanted to go ahead and put that out tonight so yeah lots to do from the time we got home. I walked Lacey and Bentley I have probably already put in the footage of, of uh, at least one walk uh, Bentley, was, his stomach was a little upset today, so I noticed it on the walk. I won't go into details, but it was obvious that his tummy was not okay. So when we get, got back, he didn't really want to eat. So I had a little bit of leftover rice, just plain white rice and some chicken broth. So I gave him that for breakfast this morning, and then that's what I gave him again tonight. And he seemed pretty okay since then. He ate that, no problem. So I think he's okay. It was probably just something he ate, but um, yeah, he seems better. He did spend some time today frowning at us for not being Janie. He does that if she's just, she was actually home today, but yeah, he just kind of frowns at us when he can't get to her. <laughs> Let's see, what else today? Oh, I made the mushroom soup. I'll put in some pictures here. I cut up the mushrooms. I cooked them in chicken broth and it was some flour. You put flour and broth together in the blender and blended it till it was smooth and then used that as the base. So there was more broth and then the mushrooms were cooked in that. And I cooked chicken in the instant pot so it would be uh, real tender and I shredded it and added that in. The main thing that I think I would do differently, I followed the recipe pretty much as it was in the book. It needed more salt, and I don't heavily salt most things, but this actually needs a little bit more. The one thing I changed, and I don't know if I mentioned this, the recipe called for a bouillon. I think it called for better than bouillon, but basically just a bouillon. And I think that provided a lot of the salt and seasoning, that kind of thing. So I think it would be better if I'm using broth. It wasn't a, a low sodium broth, so I thought it would have enough, but it didn't. So it needed more salt. If I were making it again, and I might, I would probably, in addition to the celery that's in it, I think I might saute some onions and um, possibly even a little bit of garlic just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Another thing that I think would make a nice addition is a little bit of sherry. I used to make a mushroom barley soup that had sherry in it and it added just a really really nice flavor to it so I think that might be a good addition to this recipe but it was okay it was it was pretty good and I think I would make it again just with a few modifications so tonight was soup stews and chili night at church I'll put in a picture of the table laid out so there was chili, there was gumbo, there was mushroom soup, there was a chicken vegetable soup. I think there was another vegetable soup. There would have been borscht. This lady um, makes borscht. Um, she's made it a couple of times, I think, for stuff. She was driving into church tonight, and somebody with their brake lights and turn signals out in the back, she said she could tell that it was on in the front once the situation resolved but she pulled up close on them and had to swerve out of the way because of they, she didn't realize they were stopping because their brake lights weren't working. She said as she swerved around them, she realized that the blinker was on in the front, so they were trying to signal, but the signal wasn't working. All that to say, the Borscht sloshed out into her vehicle. I felt so bad for her. She does have the, is it WeatherTech, the, the rubber mats in it, but you could see where it had splashed onto the the back of the driver's seat. Oh, so painful. And she is hysterically funny. This lady is really, really good humored. And um, so I tried to help a little bit. I took her, her plate of cookies, which was fine. It had a little bit of stuff on the outside, but it, the cookies were fine. So I took that in. So we would have had borscht, except for that. We also had bread. There was cornbread and sourdough and I think a, a Hawaiian rolls, that kind of stuff, and a whole dessert table. Uh, a friend of mine had made maple fudge. Oh, it was so good. I ate a piece and like, I think part, oh no, I had a, a larger piece. I cut it in half 
and I ate half and I ate a little bit of the other half. And I finally had to just push it aside and tell my husband to eat it because I really did not need that much sugar, but gosh, it was good. <laughs> uh, we did our Bible study in our fellowship room. This is the new room addition on our church. And um, the pastor put up a funny sign. I'll put that in um, right here. So we got back. I opened up the new cushion for the um, porch swing. A previous dog had dug into one. I used to have three separate cushions on it. And a previous dog, my son's dog, had chewed on it just a little bit on one of the cushions. And Lacey just finished demolishing it, pulling all the stuffing out and that kind of thing. So I ordered a new one. And this one, rather than three separate cushions, it's a three-seater swing. I got one big cushion. It's almost like a weighted blanket. It actually feels really heavy. So I opened that up and got it on there for now. And hopefully it will finish fluffing up like it's supposed to and it'll be comfortable. It feels pretty good so far, but it was chilly. I didn't want to sit outside tonight. <laughs> we are getting ready to go to Myrtle Beach tomorrow. We're taking our camper and it's going to be chilly, like lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s for at least the first couple days. I'm taking a swimsuit, but I don't anticipate using it. I think it's going to be, at least for me, it's good. even 75 degrees is too too cold to get in the water. Um, maybe if the water were 75 degrees and it were 95 degrees outside, I might be interested, but we'll see. But I don't expect to get in the water, but I am looking forward to walking on the beach. I will plan to get some video and, and um, talk to you a little bit, hopefully get in some knitting time during this long weekend. My youngest daughter, my son and his wife, are, they're going with us. My older daughter and her husband are staying here. They have some plans for the weekend. And so we've got a farm sitter coming in. So somebody who's going to come at least once a day to see about farm animals. This is a family friend. She's been house sitting for us for, for quite a while. And I said, she is welcome to, um, to stay at the house. That's not a problem. She can use mine and my husband's room while we're gone, but she doesn't have to since my daughter and son-in-law will be here. They can take care of the inside animals. So they're going to have Lacey and they're going to have uh, the porch cat. We're going to take Bentley with us and um, it'll give him a break from the puppy. I'll miss her, but she will be in very good hands here. Well, y'all, I'm going to get this all uploaded to the computer and get on with editing, hopefully. I can be in bed before it gets too terribly late.